Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today's video is my organization systems for school and how I stay organized. In the first half, I'll be taking you through step by step of how I stay organized, and in the second half, we'll be talking about some tips to stay organized and ways to stay organized for school. Before we start, I just want to say that there's no right or wrong way to organize your things. It completely depends on what classes you take, the note taking methods you use, and a lot of other factors. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. So my organization system consists of three different things. First, I have a D-ring binder, then I have a file folder, next I have two 1.5 inch binders, and finally, I have plenty of notebooks. The whole point of this organization system is to make my backpack as light as possible by not having to carry around multiple binders and notebooks. Now let's go through each one of the things that I just mentioned. First of all, the D-ring binder. Inside my binder, I have a bunch of different dividers, which I like to divide by different subjects so that I can have all my old notes from the year for different subjects inside this one binder. Sometimes I do more than just one year of notes in a binder if the material is close enough and it can fit. But most of the time, I just do one binder per year. The reason I do this is that I can find all the notes I've taken really easily whenever I need them. Doing this also allows me to free up the binders that I have used during the year so that I can use them for next year, which overall saves a lot of money and space in the long run. I've seen many study tubers use this method, so if many people do it, you might as well give it a try. So either after each semester or unit, I will put my notes into one big d binder since I don't need the notes anymore. And when it's time for finals, I can just pull out the big binder and use it to study. Now let's talk about all the handouts and papers I get from each school day. So during the school day, sometimes I get handouts or papers to take home to my parents to sign or just to complete and then send back. What I do with these is I put them in a little file folder or I don't really know what it's called, but you guys can see what it is. So all I do is I just slide them into this folder and then when I get home, I'll always check the folder, take out all the papers that I need, and then put them back in so that I can turn them on the next day. This is honestly so helpful because I don't carry around a hole puncher with me every day, and when I need to put it into my binder, there's no way, so it just slides into a little file folder and I go home and I'll punch it with my hole puncher and just put it back into my binder. I used to have a different method to put all my handouts in, but it was really bad because I kept forgetting that I even had papers in there. So I would find myself on the day before the paper was due, realizing that my parents hadn't signed it yet and freaking out. I really played around with my organization system last year, and this has come out on top being the best option there was out of all the ones that I've tried. Alright, I moved to a different room because it was getting a tiny bit loud in my room, so if there's a shift in audio quality right now, it's because I moved to a different room. Finally, we have the last way that I organize, and it is my two 1.5 inch binders. I have to give some context for this one to make sense, so hang on. Basically, at my school, we have A and B days, which could also be rewarded as odd and even days. Each day, we have different core subjects, but we keep the same electives. So last year in sixth grade, on A days, I had history and math, and the electives of orchestra, PE, and Latin, and then on B days, instead of having history and math, I had English and science. So now you can probably guess what these two 1.5 inch binders are for. One of them is for A days, and one of them is for B days. Each binder is organized in the same way with two core subjects behind the sticky note sheet. And also, in the back of the binder, I keep my file folder. So there are two things inside of these binders that I switch out every single day and that is the sticky note sheet and the file folder. The reason I keep my sticky notes inside of these binders is so that I don't need to go looking for them in my pencil case and they can also bend and they don't really fit. You never know when you're going to need sticky notes so you can just put them in the binder and help out maybe your friends or anyone who also needs it. But in general, having these inside of your binder is just super helpful. With this method, I just kept my handouts for the unit and my notes inside the binder, but I do mostly prefer writing my notes in a notebook, so I would just put my handouts in the binder. But that is it for how I stay organized, so now we're gonna move on to how you can stay organized and some organization methods that you can use. I have one main tip to stay organized, and it is to organize every day. 
Organizing every day is generally a helpful thing to do because it will allow all your things to be in this place where you want them to be so that if you ever have to look for them, it will be really easy. Also, organizing every day takes a much shorter time than if you do it once a week or once a month or even once a year. The total time will probably add up to be the same amount, but taking 20 seconds a day to organize is much less than taking 3 days at once to organize all the things you have misplaced. If you have ever lost something and then found it a year later, you'll realize how messy you really are and understand what I mean. A good example that I think is almost in everyone's house is their closet. I think that almost everyone's closet is a hot mess, but if you use this organization method and keep it organized every single time you put something in, then I guarantee your closet won't be nearly as messy as it is right now. So now, if you want to clean out your closet, it's going to take ages and it won't get anywhere. That versus someone who has used this method and made sure it was very organized every single time they put something in or took clothes out when they realized it was too small is a huge difference. I'm not saying that I'm against you doing whatever you do, it's just that doing this will make your life much easier. Another very valid example is if you're like my brother who doesn't understand the concept of being organized. He misplaces things a lot and spends extra time looking for them when I can just find them easily because I have them organized every single time. So overall, on the long run, if you're organized, you waste much less time trying to find stuff since you already know where they are. I think if you're currently an unorganized person, getting past the threshold of just starting will make your life much easier, but in the beginning when you have to organize everything, it might take some time and you might forget where the things were, but over time you just remember and it'll become much easier. Here are some organizational methods that you might consider using. 1. Smart ring binders. The downsides are that opening and closing each ring might take a long time. Two. Binder notebooks. Downsides are that opening and closing each ring might also take a long time. 3. Expandable file folders. The downsides are that you can't see the whole paper when flipping through, but if you can tell what it is just by the side of the paper, then you can just do this method. 4. Binders, but the downsides are that they're bulky and you might get lazy and just shove the papers into folders. Also, the papers can rip off easily if you don't put some sort of protection. And 5. And finally, folders. I don't really like folders because I will often just shove everything in, so try to organize your folders into two sections for each class, or you can have multiple folders for each class. Folders also aren't really flexible, and they only give you two different sections to put your things in. This could be helpful if you don't have many things to put in the folder, but over the time, the folder will not be able to withstand all the things you put in there. If you still want to use folders, I recommend plastic folders over paper ones because they will last longer, saving you money, but not necessarily saving the environment. Honestly, it's 100% your choice, do whatever you want to do, and if I didn't list a method that you're considering, you can go watch other videos from other study tutors that will probably go more in depth of other organizing methods that I did not mention in this video. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. We're so close to 150 subscribers, so if you could subscribe, it would be very helpful and also it would make my day. Share this video with anyone who you think this would be appropriate to share to. Yes, I'm talking about your friends who don't know what organization is. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!